When you get the man who directed E.T., Hook, and Goonies to direct a movie based on a story written by the man who did Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giants, Peach, the Fantastic Mr. Fox, the Witches, and other children's stories like this, you know you're going to get a good movie. or Big Friendly Giant, directed by Steven Spielberg, based on the book by Roland Dahl. This movie is based on a beloved children's book that I was very anxious to see. I, mean, I never read the book, but the trailers really did look good, and I was very anxious to see what, what Disney could do with this story, and it's a very good movie. The movie is about a little girl named Sophie who is an orphan in England. She sees this giant for the first time outside her window at, at night. When the giant notices that he's been seen, he kidnaps the little girl, takes her away to giant country, and they become friends. Finds out that this giant is the only giant in giant country who doesn't like to eat children. He kind of like a a vegetarian in the sense that he doesn't like eating humans, but all the other giants in giant country do like eating humans. So he is the outcast among them. So it is up to her to find a way to stop the other giants. And that's basically our movie. Now, I love Steven Spielberg. He is a legend, great filmmaker, and Roland Dahl stories are really good, whether it's The Witches, Chee Chee Bang Bang, Willy Wonka, and, and the Chocolate Factory, not the Tim Burton one, the Gene Wilder one, <laughs> and other movies based on his books, Fant The Fantastic Mr. Fox, which was a Wes Anderson movie. I am very fascinated by movies like this, and when I heard that one of Roland Dahl's stories was going to be turned into a movie done by Steven Spielberg, oh wow, that's an awesome idea. And the movie was really good. Mark Rylance plays the giant in this film. He was in Bridge of Spies. He got the Best Supporting Actor nomination. And he's terrific as the giant. They did a really good motion capture animation job with him. And then you have Ruby Barnhill playing Sophie, the little girl in the movie. And she's terrific. A really great job performance. He has to act with a green screen most of the time in order to all her or, or do everything and it's amazing how well she's able to, to do this role and the chemistry she has with Mark Rylance is great. The other actors in the movie, Jermaine Clement playing the main evil giant, Flesh Lumper or something like that. And Bill Hader plays one of the giants as well. He plays uh, Blood Botter. And Rebecca Hall does show up in the movie at, at one time. The other giants in this film look really good as well. And when we get into the, I think it's like a, the second or third act of the film when they're preparing for the climax of the movie, that part is does slow down the movie a little bit, but the comedy within that part does keep the movie interesting and I really did like the comedy in this movie and the friendship that Sophie makes with the BFG, Big Friendly Giant, they are really great together. The movie is just so good and visually looks fantastic. So the negatives that point in the movie where it does slow down a bit when they're, they're preparing for the climax. The, there is this farting joke that I didn't expect them to use more than once. I kind of felt like they didn't really need to use it more than once, really. And that's pretty much it. There's really not that much wrong with the movie. So overall, I'm going to give this movie a B+. Definitely check this movie out. <laughs>